So have you ever thought about creating a YouTube playlist to help scaffold instructions for your students? Well, it's really simple to do, uh, and here's how it works. So I usually go to uh, my channel to do this. You want to click right up here, and then you want to click on uh, my channel. You want to go to your YouTube channel, uh, where if you have YouTube videos already uploaded, they're right here. Now, next part is you want to go right here to the playlist. Once I click on playlist, I'll create a new playlist. And let's say that I call this, uh, we'll call it math homework, okay? I'm gonna hit create. Now, what I can do is I can add different videos to this math homework video. I can search videos, I can put in a URL, or I can go to my own videos. So let's say that I wanted uh, mean, median, and mode, okay? Uh, wanted to do something on that. I can go ahead and I can click on this. I can add that video to my playlist. I can also add more videos to that playlist. So for instance, maybe I have a YouTube video. Um, I'm just going to put in this video notes tutorial. I'm going to hit, hit this right here. And as you can see, I can reposition my videos. Uh, so for, for instance, maybe I created a tutorial on how to complete this assignment. And then I found other videos to help address some of the questions that your students may have. So what I typically do is I think about two to three frequently asked questions that students may have when they're completing an assignment and I usually put scaffolds in, in place to help those particular students. Another very helpful tip as well is you can share this playlist, you can share it uh, via your Google Classroom or any type of learning management system. You could even create a QR code on your worksheet that you hand out if it's just a paper worksheet. The kids can use their mobile device to scan and then access these videos as well. So hopefully that helps you.